Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do something that's a little bit more advanced for people that have been donning for a while. I got this wood circle over at Walmart for like a dollar. It's my favorite store for dollar items. And I made this uh, design in Illustrator and I'm going to use it as a stencil on this wood circle. I cut it in a square because it's going to do it on a canvas first, but I changed my mind. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to paint this black and then I'm going to show you how to stencil that and then we'll do our design. So I'm just going to put some multi-purpose sealer in my black paint, paint this black, let it dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's all painted black, but I'm not going to be working on that quite yet. So this is the stencil design I made. Now, what I do is I tape this down to my desk. It's in a square because I actually I made a square to cut it out on because I was going to put this on um, a canvas, but I decided to put it on the other. So I actually tape this down to my desk so it doesn't slide around. And this is just a piece of um, tracing paper. And then I tape that down to my desk as well so that nothing moves on me. And because I use black as my background, I'm going to trace this with my chalk pencil. And all I'm going to do is just go over these lines with my chalk pencil. So now we're all traced. I'm going to pull this up. And there's our design. Now I'm going to cut this circle out just for the simple fact is I want to get it centered on my design. Better. So I'm just going to cut around those dots. It's hard to, for you guys to see, but I'm just going to go around the dots so I can just center it in my design. It's not perfect, but that doesn't matter because this is just going to be transferring. Okay, let me move that to the side. Now here's, okay, I'm going to put this, center it on here as best I can. And make sure you put the chalk side down where you traced it. Now, if this paint, if I would have painted this, like pre-painted it way sooner, I would tape this down. But because I didn't, I don't want to tape it down for fear that the, I'll pull the paint up. So then you just got to find something to rub over. This ruler thing look, works rather well kind of it's kind of flexible so maybe like a credit card or something like that would work good too 
and just make sure you rub over the whole design. And it's easier if you tape this down because then it doesn't move on you. pretty much got it and there we go and now we'll just use our lines for the design so I'm gonna put you on pause again so I can get some paint I'll be right back okay so I'm just gonna tell you numbers as we go here because I've, my whole desk is just a disaster. I'm going to use this Snow Titanium White. And the first thing I like to do is go over my lines so I don't lose them. So I'm going to go with, oh, maybe the number three. And I'm going to start just going over these lines. Now, this square or this circle is, let's see, that's over six inches. I pulled the tag off so I don't have that to refer to. Let me see how big it is. Um, probably supposed to be seven inches, but it's lacking. I'm going to try and find my metal point. I should have marked my metal and I didn't. I'm going to guess where it is. About there. Okay. So with the number three, I'm going to do this circle first. We got the inside circle. Uh, I think I'm going to do oh, all the circles, I guess, with the white, with the number three. number eight and I'm going to dot on those outside ones okay now I do know that these are going to be white too and then I'm going to connect some lines here so I'm going to do these triangles and I'm going to use the number two. I'm going to do the outside point, and then I'm going to walk the dots towards these other lines. Okay, so now I'm going to switch. I'm going to go to this true red. And I'm going to go with a number five. I'm going to go on the inside of this white line. And I'm just going to do like I normally do. And do top and bottom, side to side. And I'm going to work my way in, I think, rather than out. Then I'm going to put one in the middle of each one of these. And then I should be able to put one more in the middle of that. This is a number 14. And I'm just going to try and 
center it myself. Hopefully this won't look so terrible. This is Orange Flame. And using number three, I'm going to do my dots around the red in the center. And then one in between, so that would be eight dots. Now I'm going to move up to a number five, and I'm going to do another row just out from those. Now I'm going to move on to these triangles. This is Festive Green. Oh, the number four. I'm going to do a dot right at the peak of each one of these. And then I'm going to encircle them, I think. So I'm going to go down to the number three. And I'm going to start at the bottom line. And I'm going to walk them up to that center dot so that they get smaller. I think I'm going to use this Vivid Violet for those. And let's go with... Oh, I'm going to do a dot at the top. This is a number five. going to do the peak of each one. Okay, and then I'm going to go down in size. I think I'm going to use, oh, maybe the number four. And I'm going to walk dots down to that white line. Okay. So now I got all my guides basically drew on there and I went over the top of them. I'm going to blow this dry and then I'm just going to take a wet q-tip and go over the top of the lines and remove them and I will be right back. Okay, so now the fun part begins because these are just our guides and we're not really filled in or anything. So now we're going to be working on some more dots. Alright, I'm going to use the citron green I'm gonna go in between those greens I got here let's pick a decent sized dot I go with the number seven and I'm gonna put it right at the top I guess right underneath the other one Now I want to incorporate some yellow. So I'm going to go with this cadmium yellow. I'm just going to make a very rainbowy picture. I'm going to go with the number five and I'm going to do two dots at the bottom of this peak here. Okay, now using that same number, which is the number five, I'm going to use, oh, the sea breeze color. And I'm going to put a dot right in the center here. Okay, now I'm going to go down to a number, go to number two, and walk a few dots down. In between each one of those. I'm doing four. I'm just walking them down. I'm going to bring it up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, now for these I'm going to do some pinks and purples in there. So for my first color I'm going to use Purple Cow. And I think I'm going to go 
at the point down here. This is with, oh, let's go with a number five. Now I'm gonna switch off to this pink, which is bubblegum pink. I'm just gonna go to the number six, I guess. I'm gonna do a dot right above that one. I'm gonna do a blue in there too. Let's go with this desert turquoise color. The number three. I'm gonna put two dots. One at the top and then walk it in. This is pistachio mint. Let's put one of those in there. Okay, this is the number nine, and I'm gonna go right in the middle, but at the base. So here's the point where it comes together. I'm just going directly down from that. Right along that white dotted line. This is carousel pink, which is a little bit darker. We're gonna do some swoops. Um, I'm going to go with the number three. I'm going to put a dot right out to the side here. And then I'm going to pull it in on both sides. I always put the dot and then I reapply paint and then I drag it slowly. So I'm going to use that same red I used, the true red. And I'm going to put a dot in these things out to the side here. With the number four, right at the point, And I'm going to go down to the number two and I'm going to use that orange flame again and put two dots, one on either side, just to bring those orange and red in a little bit more. I don't have very much of that in here. Okay, and I think I'm going to go up to the number six and I'm going to do an orange dot right off the top of these white ones just to add that in just a little bit more so I'm going with the white and I think I'm just going to grab like a number two but instead of walking them to here I think I'm going to walk them to here so I'm just going to like go to the, like the center and make a dot there I'm going to do that on each one before I do anything else Okay, that's with the number two. Now I think I'm gonna start up here and come down. And just do like four dots down to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk some dots around these white ones. Let's put a number four. And I think I'm going to use that last pink color, the carousel pink. I'm just going to put a dot on top to start out. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the number two and walk dots around that. And I'm just going to bring them into that other white dot that's at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to do some more walking of the dots. I'm going to go back up to the number four, and I'm going to use that desert turquoise color next, I think. So I'm going to do a number four dot on the outside edge, and then I'm going to come back in and walk them. All right, now I'm going to go back down to the number two and finish walking. Ok, 
Okay, well, I'm going to go with, I think, that lighter, not the pistachio, the um, sea breeze color. And I'm going to do one more walk into the dots on that, and then I'm going to move on. I'm going to go up to the number five for my top dot this time. Then I'm going to go down to the number three and walk them instead of the number two. Because he's going to go a little bit further. Okay. Now I'm going to add some more yellow because I don't have much yellow. I'm going to use that cadmium yellow again. I'm going to put a bigger dot out from these orange ones. This is a number 10. Okay, now I'm going to go to uh, the number 4. And I'm going to do the orange dot again on the other side of the yellow. Now I'm going to go down to the number 3 for this. Okay, so I'm going to put a dot right there, and then I'm going to pull it just down and around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use that festive green color again. And I'm going to put just a big dot, I guess, in between in one of these. Let's go to number nine. Okay, now let's work on some top dots and then we'll see if we need any more. I think why I got that festive green, I'm going to dot on these. Um, let's go to my number four. Now still with the number four, I'm going to dot these white ones here. I'm going to go with this purple pizzazz color, which we haven't used yet. Now I'm going to dot on these yellow ones. I think I'm just going to use white on those. Bring the white out a little bit more. I'm going to go with a bigger dot than the four, though. Let's go with... Oh, number six. Okay, and then I think I'm going to dot on these green ones here. Let's zoom in a little bit these green ones and I'm going to use that orange flame on those. Let's get like a number three. Then on these pinks, these light pink ones here, I'm going to go with a number two and I'm going to use this vivid violet. And on those light purples, I'm going to use that purple pizzazz that I had with the number two. Those. Okay, and then on those yellow ones in the center here, these two yellow ones, I'm going to use the number two, and I'm going to dot them with red. Okay, and still with the number two, I'm going to dot on these. Well, maybe I do the turquoise on that. Yeah, I think I will. The desert turquoise. And then I'm going to go with the number three and with the yellow color, the cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to do random dots in the center. And I might use 
and just kind of build it in with that. Let's use that purple pizzazz just to be different. I think I'm going to use the number three. Okay, and then we're going to do one more dot on those green ones. And I'm going to use the citron green to dot on top of it. I'm number four. Number four. And then I'm going to call that it. And zoom out a little bit. And there we go. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.